Thanks for joining us again. Welcome back to the coffee van. We're back on the restoration project and it's episode 13. So in this one, we're gonna be doing, um, building things back up again. We're gonna be putting the back lights back in and then we're gonna do all the paintwork of the bumpers. We're gonna strip those, fill them, smooth them, and then paint them all a nice, real nice gloss black. So they're gonna look absolutely stunning. So let's crack on, let's get this one sorted. Right, time to get the, uh, the back lights back in. We'll just take the, uh, got little screws in the top there that hold the main, hold the front bit on, the lens on. So we'll pop those out. Lens comes, lens comes away, revealing the bulbs inside. A bit dusty in there, look. <laughs> we'll get out of clean in a minute. Get that little wipe out inside there. All sorts of living in here. That one's empty, so there's nothing in that one. Right, okay. These clip in the back, we've got these little squeeze clips. So they just push in, it's got the rubber edging around it. So we'll pop that through. So we've got the connector plug there coming through. It'll only go in one way with the little marker on it. We'll pop that in there, squeeze that up. And then we can pop this back into its hole. We'll get that back inside there. Clip that in. and tight. They've all gone behind where they need to go. Beautiful. And we'll get the lens, drop that on. Make sure we get the screws going in the right holes. Like that. And then we'll screw that up. A little bit tricky to line up the, the screws with the holes in the back, but we don't want to over tighten them. Just nip them up. Beautiful, let's get the other side done. Pretty much same thing again. We'll feed that through, get that wire into the little hole at the bottom. We can clip that in, get the lens on, and again, just nip that up. This one is slightly fog look, but um, it's, it's, it's okay. Right, bumpers. What we had on the back were these plastic ones that are broken and busted and yeah, not got much to them. So what I've managed to do is um, order some metal ones from a scrap dealers. Uh, they've come all the way from France and we've got these solid metal, beautiful bumpers. So we can sand these back flat and paint them, get them looking nice, got a little bit of work to do, get rid of this, uh, they've got like a thread on them for a fog light or something, we don't want that. So we'll give them a bit of work, straighten them and paint them up. They'll look lovely. Let's get on. They can go in the bin. These new ones do need a little bit of uh, TLC. There's a couple of little dents on there. This steel is really thick and lovely though. So um, we can give it a good bash and it'll just knock it out up against the work mate there just to knock these dents through. Try and get it pretty smooth. And then once I've flattened it all off, filled any big big marks and stuff that are in it. These will be as good as new. Better. Let's get sanded. I pop a decent grit on the old uh, Milwaukee sander there and we can get going at these, try and uh, smooth them out and knock some of the paint off. First things first though, we've got to get rid of these two threads that are poking out through the back of these bumpers. These were used for some kind of fog lights or something along those lines that are not, not needed anymore. Um, they've been welded through, so they've welded these threads right through. So I'm going to grind them off, I'll cut them off with this cutting disc, smooth it all out and then, uh, and then we can fill any mess that's on there. Uh, that's not the right disc for doing that with, so I might have to just swap it out in a minute. But we'll, uh, we'll chop this one off as well. Try not to chop my hands off, you know what I'm like with these uh, 
when I'm watching myself back with these grinders, I do I do look a bit worried. <laughs> oh, dear me. Here we go. Look, watch your coat. Don't get that grinder caught up in your jacket. Oh, you fighter. But <laughs> watch the wire. Oh, can't you know, watch your leg. Uh, it's an accident waiting to happen. No, no, I'm in full control, honestly. <laughs> do you believe me? Yeah, yeah. Look, here we go. That's that off there. We can put the nice grinding discs in this uh, in this grinder and and really take those back. We'll swap it over. Look, this one makes it easier to, to grind flat, yeah, like that, and just smooth that out. Get rid of any uh, imperfections that are there. We just whiz through this, and don't forget, we're going to fill these as well. We're going to just smooth it out with a bit of filler at the end before we actually uh, do any paint work. I'm going to take these back as well. I need to get rid of all this crappy paint that's on there. And here we go with the heavy grit on the grinder. Uh, sorry, on the sander, you know. It's whizzing through that, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at him go. There's about 10 layers of paint on these, though. There's so much paint on there, it's ridiculous. I think someone's used a bit of Dulux on there at some point. The only thing is we don't want no... We don't know how it's going to react when we primer it, so hopefully, if I can get most of it off, then uh, we shouldn't have any problems. But they are looking pretty good. Not bad at all. Again, this has got a lot of paint on it. So I'll get it in... Uh, well, into a position where it's bit. I've got my wire brush in the angle grinder. And I'm going to pretty much take all of the paint off of this. I'm going to really have a good go at this and get it right back to the metal. It's coming off really nicely. You know, it really does take it back well. I'll pop a link in the description for these uh, wire brush and stuff and then we'll just go over that with the sand off just to, just to finish it off. Look at that, bare metal, beautiful. We'll have a go at the back of it as well. We'll try and get rid of most of those rusty bits and the skanky bits in there. I'll clean off these bumper irons. We'll get that in there. We'll try and get rid of most of it. I'm going to take these irons off in a minute as well. We'll have them ride off. I was a bit worried about the bolts though being uh, corroded, thinking they might shear off when I try and get them out. But I put some lube on them, and luckily for us, it uh, yeah the bolts came out. Obviously, that Milwaukee gun there always does the trick. If it's uh, if it's if it's going to come out, that'll shift them. I also looked at these because every single one is a slightly different. They're all slightly different, with slightly different angle. So you've got to get these back in the same place as they came off. You can't muddle them up. So I'm having to sort of mark them and just make sure that I know which which ones come from where. Otherwise, we will have a pickle when we come to put it all back on again, and the bumper will be all over the gap. Um, this is beautiful thick metal, though. Look, it's, they're they're lovely. They really are. Got some some quality metal in there. They've got a couple of rivet heads just poking through where the number plate was riveted on, so I'm going to pop those out. I'll fill the holes as well. We'll make sure that they're all nicely filled, and uh, and yeah, and then we can obviously drill what we need to be drilled when we put the number plate back on again. But uh, I want to just get it all nice and smooth. So we've just got one that needs knocking through. Whatever you do, don't miss that punch. Oh, watch your fingers. <laughs> So we're back under the carport, and I'm just going to apply some of this this filler to the uh, these bumpers, just to try and get them really nice and smooth. Any little imperfections that are there, I'll just drop a bit of the filler on there, and then we can sand that back and make these yeah look really nice. Once these have got some primer on them and a nice black gloss top coat, yeah, they'll look a million dollars. So I've just got in the cupboard and uh, this was a pit, some paint that I mixed up with the thinners and the hardener two days ago. And I've just gone to do a little bit of touching up and uh, that's the result of it. Look, it looks gone like jelly. So two days, um, yesterday it was okay. I managed to do a bit with it yesterday, but like today it's finished it lot. So you get a bit of time once you put the hardener in, in a concealed container. If it was open, it would go off a lot quicker, but in a sealed tin, it's gave us two days. So we'll just get the uh, 
Milwaukee Hoover on here. It's attached to the sander because this is a bit of filler and I, I don't want to make the carport full of filler because we're going to be painting here soon. So I thought we'd just ca catch some of the dust within the, uh, the Hoover there. And it's worked a treat, it really has. And I can get these smoothed right off really nice now. Ready for some primer. Really pleased. And you can see how lovely and smooth they are now. I think they're gonna look they're gonna look nice once they've got a bit of bit of paint on them. Well worth changing, much better than the plastic ones. We've got the little wiper blades here. And we'll uh, get these a lick of paint as well. Um, with these, you've got to be really careful of these plastic bits because they're dead hard to get hold of now. So if I can just feed those out. Without breaking them with a bit of look. Ooh, well that one needs a new blade anyway, but... Oh. Out. at least that bit's still intact so uh, hopefully better put a new blade on there here we go let's get some of this primer on so this is the 2k primer filler it goes on quite thick I've um, really like uh, mixed it down with some thinners just so it comes out of the gun in a reasonable fashion but we can go over this I'll probably put three coats on it just keep going round and round and round it dries pretty quick I've got the heat gun as well that we can just help it along dry we go get the heat gun on it just help it dry then I can whack another coat on there so yeah keep going round and round and round two or three coats just keep building it up until we've got a decent amount on there they look nice well really pleased with how the primering's gone on got it really nice um, all covered so let's get some top coat on there this is the moment i've been waiting for i just love putting top coat on i've got this watered down with some thinners so it's going on again nice and nice and smooth and i'll just keep building these layers up just keep building it up just go over it once go over it twice just a thin layer to start with a little dusting not too fussed about how thick it's going on just as long as i've got a coating on there and then we'll just keep building it up, just keep building it up as it dries until we've got a really nice sheen. And you'll just see the shine coming through as we keep putting these layers on. This gloss black, once it's on there, I mean, these are the steps, the side steps as well there, the plastic, we've primed them, just like we have all the rest of it. And just keep building it up, well, where we go, I've got to try and turn this over now. It's a little bit tacky, but... Uh, I've done the underside, it's the top side that we really want to get that finish looking nice. Oh, there we go, get it over. I've got the heater underneath that table as well, can you just see the heater there? So this table's nice and warm. Spin everything over, get it all where we want it, ready for an, another load of top coat to go on. So like I say, just keep, keep building it up one layer at a time. A little bit of a dusting on there to start with and just keep working his way around, just building it up, building it up, building it up. And you just watch this shine come through, it's just a del delight to see it going on. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Look at that shine starting to come up now. Keep building it up, catch it in the light, it's just like looking in the mirror. There we go, look at this coming on here, look now tripping over the pipe but we just keep going with it keep building it up slowly but surely that paint will go on this SATA gun is amazing it really does spray well it's the HVLP um, it runs at about 42 PSI I've got the Milwaukee light there just so I can see what I'm doing it is a bit dark in the carport the lighting I've got lots of lights in here but when you trying to see the shadows and stuff it's just really nice to have that light in your hand and just see what you where you've been and where you've missed got the breathing mask on as well there the moldex mask i'll put links in the description for all of this stuff if you're interested we'll get the heat gun on there just go over it give it a waft in and then we'll get another coat on just keep building these layers up until i'm after with how it shines that nice deep rich 
black gloss, it's just a lovely colour. And this is a 2K paint, so when it does go off, it'll set like rock, it'll go off really, really hard. Yeah, looking nice. I can't wait for the next episode where we'll be actually bolting them back on the van. Which, is, yeah, it's going to really finish it off. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Them bumpers look absolutely beautiful, real nice and shiny, lovely and glossy. They're going to look great when they're back on the van. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be doing the paintwork on the front plastics and the grill and a few other bits and pieces. So, yeah, tune back in again next week for the next episode, the next instalment of the Coffee Van Restoration. And uh, thanks for joining me. Drop me a little comment. Um, love your comments as always. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.